So things with Kayla got a lot more difficult due to COVID. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Well, voice box full anyway, so can't leave a voicemail. And she told me to told me to call her around this time, but uh, this has kind of been kind of been what I what I deal with, you know. Kayla never moved into the house with us. She decided to stay with a friend. So our communication with Kay is not what I would like it. I'm not sure if it's because of COVID or because she's choosing not to communicate. The last time I saw her, we agreed to mend our relationship. And during the lockdown, we asked her to quarantine with us, but she, she decided to continue to work and her job is very much customer service based around a lot of people. And with four kids at home, it was a little too, too chancy for us. So we decided just to continue quarantine separately. Uh, we just got through having a uh, talk with Kay. And at this time, we've kind of decided that um, it's best that we allow things to come to an end for right now. I feel that Kayla, she wasn't very aware of the direction maybe that her life was going. She maybe thought she knew, and she feels as though maybe I need to go out into the world and establish myself. And I don't feel like she had to do that outside the home, but she felt like it was best if she did it on her own. And uh, I think that was really what brought us to this, this moment where we're just, you know, we're in two separate places. It's hurtful because she was my first sister wife. Kay has been a part of our lives for almost two years now. And I assumed that it was gonna work. I, I wanted it to work, but um, I can't force that relationship. I have to allow her to grow wherever she sees fit and Trust, definitely trust that you can't, you can't whoever's force. going to be next, that they're going to be the right one. 